Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lainey and today we are watching episode four of the Ahsoka series. I am super excited because I feel like last week's episode, we finally got to see Ahsoka and Sabine working together really well as Master and Padawan for the first time. And we're in kind of like the middle of a conflict right now, a smaller scale conflict where Sabine and Ahsoka are trapped on Cetos in the forest. The ship is destroyed. Balin and all of the people People that are working for them and Shin and Maroc are all looking for them in the forest so I feel like we're gonna get another showdown between Sabine and possibly Maroc or Shin and we're definitely I think going to see Ahsoka and Balin face off for the first time so I am really excited to see that and he's obviously what we see from the trailer we don't know if it'll be during this but we see that they do talk about Anakin and Balin and Ahsoka's meeting so I don't know if it'll be this time I don't know if they're I mean obviously I don't know anything for sure but I feel like Balin and Ahsoka are going to fight in this episode and they're going to talk about Anakin so I'm really excited about that. I don't really have any other expectations. I just know the Purgle are present on that planet which is super cool. I don't know if they're going to be any means of escape for Ahsoka and Sabine but that would be really cool to see. So I'm just really excited to get into it. Let's just do it. Hera, do you copy? Come in, home one. This is Fulcrum. Repeat. Do you read us? Over. It's interesting that Sabine also goes by Fulcrum since she's with Ahsoka. I hope Hera comes in as backup. If we can't make the journey to find Ezra, then no one should. Ugh. Better that than allowing Thrawn's return as heir to the Empire. Heir to the Empire, oh my gosh, and that's the name of Thrawn's books. Also, the music right now is going off. I am not a fan of Sabine's outfit right now. Sorry. Be careful out here. Ahsoka definitely senses something. Maybe it's because the droids are standing right there. Why is Shin's outfit so Master. Clone Wars-esque? <laughs> is that a note of fear in your voice? Experience. What does that mean? I've always thought that the two lines in the logo resemble Ahsoka's two lightsabers, like how one is shorter and one is longer. Maybe it's just me, maybe I'm dumb and I'm just now figuring that out, I don't know. Much better outfit. The Phoenix Squadron symbol on her pauldron, or shoulder thingy. Sometimes we have to do what's right, regardless of our personal feelings. You really believe that? When the stakes are this high, I have to. I wonder if Ahsoka does tend to have emotional attachments now in her later years and acts based on those a little bit more than she used to. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Who Yang has the moves? Shut your mouth. Not the boxing match I'm seeing right now. Help. <laughs> He's help. calling for help. Hu Yang was bobbing and weaving, I swear. Oh my gosh! This is sick. It's interesting that Sabine doesn't immediately go for the lightsaber. Hera and Jason and Chopper. She's going in for the save. Look at the ghost. It looks so good. You know, ah! you're risking an awful lot by doing this. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Where's Zeb? On your signal, Phoenix leader. Stop. I love that Carson's in it. Please don't let him die. Have faith. Faith. I lost that a long time ago. Interesting. I wonder if he's talking about losing faith in the Jedi Order. I don't know what they're running for. Are they like genuinely about to take off right now? Stop. 2v2. <laughs> Show me who Maroc is. This should be light work for Ahsoka. Only one saber. Ooh, pull that saber out, girl. Oh my gosh. I told you it'd be light work, I swear. 
what? I guess Maroc was just another Inquisitor that was just meant to die. Like a loser. Here we go. Anakin spoke highly of you. Oh my gosh. He never mentioned you. <laughs> the ponchos are coming off. Again, one saber. Wow. That looks so cool. I feel like Balin keeps coming back to the stance, and I feel like that's exactly how Kanan used to fight. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. There we go. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. I wonder why Ahsoka's opting to use one saber. doesn't need it. A smoke bomb. She's afraid that means to being lost. No! I mean, obviously she's gonna be fine, but... Just destroy it. Like, destroy it. Die. To serve a greater good. What does that mean? Do it. For Ezra. Personal feelings. All of those rocks look like Ahsoka's head. There's always an outstretched hand moment. And now Shin's gonna kill her. Or try. Copy, Yang. We're already here. Oh my gosh! Para to the rescue. Please don't let Carson die. Ignore them. Engage the hyperdrive. They gotta move. Move. Get out of the way. I've got a bad feeling. Would you say he can sense a disturbance in the force? Tell me those rocks don't look like Ahsoka's head. Maybe this will be the moment we get a flashback? I don't think we have enough time. Cool transition. She in the world between worlds. She's in the world between worlds. How even? Oh my gosh. Oh, it looks so good. We're gonna see some- we're, we're gonna see a flashback, I swear. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I didn't expect to see you so soon. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. No way. No way, no way, no way, no way, no way! Anakin. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Is she dead? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Why, 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 why? Oh my gosh, you guys. How come every time Hayden Christensen comes on screen, it makes me tear up? Why? Why every time? I didn't like physically tear up, but like, I, you know how you can feel like you're going to start tearing up? I feel like next episode is going to wreck me. It is going to absolutely wreck me. Oh my gosh. He was literally dressed exactly like the way Ahsoka left him in the Clone Wars. He was dressed just like the Clone Wars Anakin and he looked really good. I thought the de-aging looked a little bit too much, but like they have to do it. I don't know. I'll get a better look at it next week, hopefully. He looks so good. Oh my gosh. And the hair that they did on him and everything and... Oh my gosh. I feel like, okay, so what he said was, I didn't expect to see you so soon. Does that mean that Ahsoka just died? Like, does that mean that she died? And Anakin was like, oh, you're here in the world between worlds, but they're in the world between worlds. So if she's, is that where Jedi go when they die? And that's how they become force ghosts? I don't know. I really don't understand the world between worlds too much. So I hope that we get more of an explanation. She can't be dead, but like, Ahsoka's been dead before. She has Morai inside of her. She has like the embodiment of the light side of the force inside her. So maybe there are different rules for Ahsoka as far as life and death. I can't get over Hayden Christensen. I can't go over it, you guys. Oh my gosh. He looks so good. Now I can't wait until next week. I love him so much. You have no idea. I love him so much. It was amazing seeing him like that. I'm gonna rewatch that immediately after this. I can't even think about what else happened in that episode. So Maroc was kind of given Ahsoka 
a bit of a fight, but sometimes I feel like Ahsoka is more so feeling out her opponent decides how to take him out. I kind of feel like she baited Maroc into using his helicopter saber ability and then was easily able to defeat him once he pulled that out. And obviously she's fought many Inquisitors like that before and defeated them. So honestly felt like it should have been light work for Ahsoka. It's not the first time she's defeated an Inquisitor and made them look stupid. So it's kind of disappointing that Maroc didn't get any more of a backstory and he just kind of disintegrated. It's just another Inquisitor that sucked, you know what I mean? But it's fine, you know? They're not all the greatest because they weren't meant to be the greatest. They didn't want them to become too powerful when they were training them to be Inquisitors. So Sabine... I kind of thought when they showed that shot of Sabine's helmet that it meant that there was about to be a transition between her Mandalorian self and her Jedi self. I felt like since the helmet was right there on the ground and she was having this battle in the background, it meant that she was about to become more so in tune with the Jedi side of herself, but I didn't really get that. She tried to use the force and Shin kind of like flinched, but it obviously didn't work. So I feel like it's coming. It makes sense that Sabine decided that she wanted to go ahead and take the best option to go and find Ezra. She is leading with her feelings Feelings, but that's what Anakin does. That's what Ahsoka sometimes did. So I don't hate it. Maybe we'll see Ezra soon. I don't even know what else to talk about, you guys. It was insane seeing him like that again. And we knew that he was going to be in it, but just hearing Anakin talk to Ahsoka as Hayden Christensen is so special and so amazing. And seeing them together in live action is just something that we didn't really expect to get until now. Oh my gosh. Dave Filoni, you're the freaking greatest ever. Everyone else that has worked on this project, holy crap. The Kiner Brothers score in this freaking show is amazing. Everything about the lightsaber battles was amazing to me. I loved the choreography. I loved the way that they were dueling each other. It looked so good. It did not look slow paced. The lightsabers were amazing. The sound of them was amazing. The sound effects of everything. Oh my gosh. This has been my absolute favorite episode so far. Not just because of Hayden, but I was just in awe of this show the entire time. I am obsessed with it and I really, really want to know what you guys think of this episode. By far the best episode of the show so far and it's only going to get better. I feel like this is a tipping point. It was kind of like the mid-season finale and now we're moving on into the last four episodes of the show. Please let me know what you guys think. Comment in this video, comment down below, and I will absolutely have a great time talking to you guys as always and we can kind of discuss what we think is gonna happen. I don't know, like what happened to Ahsoka? I really don't know. I can't even function right now, like I can't even talk, I don't know. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you don't miss a single reaction that I have because I'm only gonna get more emotional and more reactive as this series goes on. Please, please, please make sure to subscribe so that I can keep talking with you guys and you won't miss a single reaction because it's my favorite part of doing this is talking to you guys. So for the secret phrase of today, just to see whoever made it through this long of the video, let's go with hey snips. <laughs> let's go with hey snips because that's the first thing Hayden said. Yeah. If you made it to this point in the video, make sure to comment down below hey snips because you are the absolute best. Thank you for sticking through this with me and listening to me ramble on about how much I love this episode. I will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.